Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to change the engine oil and oil filter on my uh, 2006 uh, Mercedes-Benz E500 for Matic. Uh, this car is already equipped with the 5.5 liter V8 engine with engine code M273. Nevertheless, at least here in Europe, it was still called an E500, while in other parts of the world, especially in uh, North America, cars equipped with this engine as were the e cars the cl the s class the sl ml and so on uh, were sold and badged as 550s the oil change procedure is uh, similar on the v6 engines with three and three and a half liter displacement with engine code m272 uh, and um, should be the same uh, on its predecessors, the 5 uh, liter V8 M113 and the 3.2 liter V6 M112. As on any car, you can either drain the oil or suck it out with some device. Uh, on this car, the oil filter sits on the engine, so if you sucked it out, you wouldn't even have to get underneath. Nevertheless, I prefer the old school way and drain it. So, the car has to be lifted. Uh, you can use uh, a car check and check stands. I used uh, some ramps I, I bought online. I preferred these over metal ramps because they look quite massive. Uh, nevertheless, for my extra safety, I positioned two check stands. Uh, right underneath uh, the right and left uh, lower front suspension arms. These ramps uh, have one disadvantage, they are really low profile, so uh, to gain a little bit extra room underneath I set the air suspension uh, to the highest position. And even though uh, these ramps are very low profile, uh, make sure they fit to your car, I tried them uh, with my fifth generation Cadillac Seville and they don't fit because the car is very low and very long on the front end. For your safety uh, don't forget to put wedges to both sides of at least one of the remaining wheels. So uh, what do I need for this oil change? First of all engine oil. Uh, this has to meet uh, Mercedes-Benz specs SR 229.5 or 229.51. Uh, the second is specific uh, to uh, diesel engines with particle filter. You can use this 0.51 oil also on your petrol engines, uh, but uh, this oil, these oils contain additives you don't necessarily need, and uh, that's why I went for an oil that only meets 229.5 and not to 9.51 as this is one for example you can buy every oil you want um, this is a 5w40 you can either choose uh, 5w30 or 0w30 or 0w40 I put this in because it has always been in there and uh, never change a winning thing anytime you do an oil change uh, the filter also has to be changed um, I went for MAN because it's good quality and MAN is also the original equipment manufacturer for this car. At least uh, if you want to do oil changes on your car on a regular basis, I would suggest uh, also this special tool. It's a so-called uh, oil filter or oil filter cap removal tool. Uh, uh, these tools refer on the one hand uh, to the size. Uh, for my car I need a 74 mm. Uh, on the other hand, uh, they refer to the number of sides, not to the number of edges. So uh, you count the edges on your oil filter, or oil filter cap, take it minus one, and then you have the tool you need. On my oil filter cap, there are 15 edges, 14 sides, and therefore I need a 74 slash 14 tool. You also need a funnel, of course, and also an important thing, a new copper ceiling ring uh, for the oil drain plug. If it's torqued down, uh, the ceiling ring gets deformed 
and if you would reuse it, uh, it could leak. You also need a 7mm hex socket together with a fitting wrench and you need a 13mm hex socket with a fitting wrench. Finally, uh, I would recommend some picking tool or a little screwdriver uh, to apply the new O-rings onto the oil filter housing and if you want to do it in a professional manner also a torque wrench uh, that covers a range uh, from 25 to 30 newton meters. So, and now we start. Therefore, you pull the red lever on the left side in the driver's side footwell. <coughs> now uh, the hood is unlocked and uh, a little latch uh, popped out. You grab this little latch with two of your fingers and pull it out as far as you can. With the other hand you grab the hood here underneath and pull it upwards. Now you can release this latch and it's open. Don't pull this latch upwards because it's made of plastic and will crack. In the engine compartment you find the oil fill cap here on the left hand side so if you just want to add oil you don't have to remove anything. Um, I want to change the oil filter that's located right here underneath and therefore uh, I have to remove the plastic cover. Uh, this has four connections to the engine, two at the front. These are ball shaped and can be banded and uh, two at the back and these cannot. So to prevent damage I raise this cover first on the rear side carefully and then I can raise it at the front and remove it. I will change out uh, the oil filter insert at the end, but uh, to allow the oil to drain better and to prevent building up vacuum, I will now open the oil fill cap and I will also open uh, the oil filter cap by using my special tool. Here underneath the car uh, I have to remove uh, the 7mm hex nuts uh, that hold uh, the front engine cover onto place. Uh, the first three of them I can operate from outside. But for the rest, uh, you have to get underneath. So, everything loose. Now I should be able to pull the cover back, no. So. And another. So, but now it can be done. Of course, you also need a pan to drain the oil into. After the work is done, uh, be sure uh, to put it back into the cans uh, the new oil came with and uh, dispose of uh, the used oil in a legal way.
so now it's getting dirty no I've removed it early later all the oil has drained and uh, I can now reinstall uh, the used oil drain plug together with a new uh, copper ceiling ring. Finally, I take my torque wrench, adjust it to 30 Newton meters, and torque it down. That's it. This is the copper ceiling ring I removed, so I think you see why it shouldn't be reused. Now I have to get back underneath the car and reinstall the body panel. Um, it's the best to start here at the front. Uh, as I told before, uh, the front end of the removed panel has to slip here upon this panel right at the very front of the car. And then it's the best way to start with the screws at the back. Because this will prevent the panel to go down again. I don't know any torque for this, I just make it hand tight. And even this seems to be too much. <laughs> I see I have to loosen the screws again because the holes at the front don't exactly line up, so try it again. And finally the last one on the right side. So, done. Take out the oil filter cap together with the old insert. It should come out together. I have now removed uh, the old filter from uh, the filter cap. You only have to pull it off. It comes off easily. Um, I have cleaned uh, this, this cap and uh, now we have to look uh, where the o-rings sit. One here, one here and one here. Uh, these three o-rings should come with the new filter. In fact they do. Here is the new filter and here is a little plastic bag with all the o-rings. Uh, there are five inside, we only need three and I think we need the biggest. 
and uh, the two middle sized one uh, the two uh, small ones we don't need to remove the old o-rings I use this picking tool and just pull them up and the way this was the first this is the second and this is the third you don't have to be careful because it throws them away anyway but you should be careful with the new o-rings we start with the biggest one and always be sure to put it where the old has been this was the first the second and finally the third as the new oil filter will slide on here and uh, this big o-ring will seal the cap uh, to the housing and is torqued down uh, to prevent damage all these three o-rings should be lubricated you can either use old or uh, your fresh oil I will use the fresh oil now I slide the new filter on it doesn't matter which direction you do this the filter looks the same on both sides so not too easy but it worked So it sits in again and now we torque this housing down to as it says here 25 Newton meter. Therefore again I use my torque wrench, adjust it to 25 Newton meters connect it to my special tool. and torque it down that's it this engine has an oil capacity of eight and a half liters so I will fill in eight liters first and then see and add if necessary Now I have to start the car uh, to be sure that all the engine parts and especially uh, the oil filter housing get filled with new oil uh, so that I can check the level afterwards. And when doing this don't forget to put on the oil fill cap. If you don't do this it will get quite a mess. car was now idling for one minute or so 
uh, I let it sit again uh, a few minutes and now I check the oil level. First to clean this plastic part up with a paper towel then put it in again wait a few moments pull it out and check the reading and the reading says near minimum so I think we put in additional half a liter and check it again afterwards one side of the oil cans always is transparent so you can see what's missing and how much oil is still in there so this was around half a liter when checking the oil level be sure uh, your car is exactly parallel to the ground mine is not so um, I will later check again uh, on the 100% flat surface. So, work done. And of course, don't forget to reinstall the engine cover to the engine. Done. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.